Workers removed the George Preston Marshall Memorial outside RFK Stadium in Washington on Friday. Rick Meese, The Washington Post Five days after the city tore down George Preston Marshall's statue outside RFK Stadium, the Washington Redskins said they would remove his name from all official team material, including their Ring of Fame, history wall and website, marking the team's latest actions amid a nationwide reckoning with racial inequality. Marshall, the franchise's founding owner, was the last NFL owner to integrate his team's roster, and the removal of his statue followed years of lobbying by residents who opposed memorializing an owner who was against desegregation. Jordan Wright, Marshall's granddaughter, recently said she did not oppose the removal of his statue. No, not at all, not one damn bit, she said. I was glad to see it come down. It's past time to see it go. Dot dot dot. Don Banks, whose 36-year sports writing career included more than 16 years at Sports Illustrated's website, has been selected as the Dick McCann Award winner by the Professional Football Writers of America. Banks, who died last August while covering the Pro Football Hall of Fame weekend, had recently been hired by the Las Vegas Review-Journal as its NFL correspondent before his death. Tennis Djokovic's father defends son Novak Djokovic's parents defended their son and blamed another tennis player for spreading the coronavirus at a series of exhibition matches hosted by the top-ranked player. Djokovic and his wife tested positive for the virus on Tuesday. The 17-time Grand Slam champion then apologized online for organizing the Adria Tour events, which brought together professional players from various countries to play matches in Serbia and Croatia. Thousands of spectators attended the matches and no social distancing was observed. Djokovic's outspoken father blamed the cancellation of the tour on Grigor Dimitrov, one of the three other players to test positive in the last few days. There is no evidence to suggest Dimitrov spread the virus to others. Why did it happen? Because that man probably came sick, who knows from where, Sergin Djokovic told Croatian television. He didn't test here, he tested somewhere else. I think that's not fair. He inflicted damage to both Croatia and to us as a family in Serbia. Nobody is feeling well because of this situation. Dot dot dot. The US Tennis Association changed its plans and now will include wheelchair competition at the scaled-down US Open after athletes complained about the original decision to drop their event entirely this year. The USTA announced that wheelchair tennis will be played at Flushing Meadows from September 10-13, the last four days of the Grand Slam tournament. Tennis players in Australia will have a chance to compete for prize money for the first time since March in a UTR Pro Series starting this weekend in Sydney and continuing in city hubs across the country from next week.